Hi, this is Sherry. I'm coming at you from my front patio to do the weekly reading for Angel's Whisper. And um, I'm super excited because today we are working with my favorite Archangel, Michael. And we are working with the Archangel Michael Beck. And I'm super excited because this isn't mine. I Mine went missing and it's been gone for quite a while. And I, I kept neglecting to buy a new one because I figured, you know, I would, I'd find it. I, I know it's got to be somewhere. Like, who would take a, a who would take a deck from me, really, you know? And then I realized this morning where it's at, and it's probably best that it stays there. But my roommate, my old roommate came to visit, and she said, look, I got a couple new decks. And she brings out this deck. She goes, want me to do a reading for you? And I'm like, right on, it's Archangel Michael. So this is the deck that we're going to work with. And because this computer has already shut down three times today, and because of what we had happen last time, I have chosen the cards ahead of time so that we don't have to have um, an issue with, you know, losing the messages that we have. So the first message that we're getting is pay attention to your dreams. And this is uh, Archangel Michael saying that he's been working with you, um, you know, to release fear or worry or, um, and to bring you messages. He's been teaching you, actually, while you've been sleeping. Um, and although you may not remember the dreams, you, um, e even if you can't remember them, it's best if you can remember anything. If you're able to uh, keep a dream journal next to your bed, that would be ideal. Um, and write down any messages uh, and any dreams that you get because they are messages that are coming to you. But even if you can't, it's stored in your subconscious and you, know, you, have, and, and, and you are getting the messages and, you, and it will come out. You will have um, aha moments, um, little things that will come to you during the day that just from you seeming nowhere from your higher self, but it's from the guidance that you've actually been receiving while you were sleeping. And, and also what there's uh, other specific messages from, um, and, these, and these messages are not, um, these are short, so I've got several I've chosen today. Um, so here we have Archangel Michael. I love, I love him. Look at him. Um, so the different messages that could also be coming, this, first of all, of course, pay attention to your dreams. Um, also respect and act on your dreams or your desires. So it's a confirmation for that. Consult a dream expert. So if you've had messages that have been coming to you in your dreams and you don't understand them, speak to somebody. I'm a dream analyst, and I love it. So I would love to, to help people in that manner because there are definitely messages that are, and I'm, and are coming to you. And I've been getting uh, a lot of people actually coming in and, and writing and, and asking, and, and it's very, very valuable. Um, often it's not what you think that you see. Uh, sometimes nightmares, and you're, you wake up and your heart's beating and you're afraid. But literally, everything is broken down into a message, and things aren't that a death is not a death. It's just the ending of something, and then a new beginning, and so on and on. So then, nightmares that you have actually been having, um, they're not really frightening at all. Once you you break it down and analyze what the dream actually is saying to you. Also, you may have been getting reoccurring dreams. There are people that have reoccurring dreams since childhood or for years, and like, why do I keep dreaming the same dream? It's because your higher self is trying to get your attention to get you to change or face or um, deal with an aspect of, of your of your life and that's why they'll bring it to you again and again until you get to the point where you've got to, you, you go ask somebody or you try and figure it out so that's why you get that um, also it's a message about you know since he's saying pay attention to your dreams he wants to make sure that you're getting enough sleep so that you're able to hear the dreams and messages that you're coming coming to you also if you're somebody who partakes um, in mind-altering substances of any sort alcohol pot anything I'm not here to judge to judge I don't judge at all Archangel Michael's not judging but it will disrupt your the memory of your dreams um, so you're you're being asked to please go to sleep sober so that when you wake up you're uh, so that you actually when you wake up so that when you're asleep in your dreams woo, you're get my screen keeps going um, you get the messages that are coming we have a, a dragonfly that keeps flying around I wondered what it was the dragonfly how appropriate is Pay attention to your dreams. Also, see past the illusion. Um, uh, what else? Transformation, because they skim along the surface of water. Also teaching you to maybe an emotional situation in your life, skim across the surface of the water. Like, just take it slow and easy. Maybe things aren't as they appear. That's why I see through the illusion. Um, so that was our first totem message. That was pretty cool. Um, okay, the next message that we're getting is, the per this person that you're asking about is trustworthy. Can you see it? Oh, here. So basically they're saying that, that, that you can rely on this person. Um, and, and this person could be you as well. It doesn't have to be someone else. But this person um, is a trustworthy individual. And they need for you to, basically he's saying, um, um, as far as trusting somebody, you know, you, you have to recognize that people are imperfect and they're going to make mistakes. But by and large, this person is dependable. 
which could, of course, include yourself. Um, they're saying uh, uh, about another person, this person actually really does care about you and, is, and will act accordingly, um, all, has the best of intentions. Um, and because we're all imperfect, in, we are perfect in these imperfect human bodies. So because of these imperfections that we must deal with as, as human beings, they want you to not expect this person to be perfect because it's putting too much uh, pressure on the relationship. Um, and you would want them to have the same kind of, um, uh, what's the word, uh, the same kind of compassion and love and understanding for you that they're asking for, and my, Archangel Michael is asking for you to have as well. Also, um, other specific meanings for this could be that um, the an idea that you have is valid and trustworthy, so something that you're thinking about doing or putting together, implementing, um, it's a good idea. You, you can trust it. Um, also, the person that you're thinking about will become a romantic partner of yours. Um, this is someone that maybe you're wondering about their, um, you know, are, are they on the up and up, or is this somebody that I can trust in my life, and they're saying yes. Um, they want you to believe what this person is saying, even if you don't like possibly what they're hearing, you're hearing. Um, they're saying that this, this person is a good business partner. If you're considering, if you're asking about a business partner, is this somebody that would be good to go into business with? Yes. They're giving you um, a sign, thumbs up, that that's a, a good idea. They're also saying for you to let go of blaming others um, and give any anger or unforgiveness or, or um, resentment or feelings that you're not quite sure of to the angels to, um, to deal with and, and let go of. Because when you hold on to things like this, it's, it's only hurting you, it's, you know, to do such, to hold on to those feelings. Those are negative, it's negative vibration, negative energy, so it's lowering your vibration. Okay, so that's for that one. The next one is interesting because it's innocence and we got this this morning for our reading so this is confirmation again and basically this is speaking about two things this is speaking about yourself assuring you that you have not made a mistake you have not done something that was wrong if you've been thinking oh geez that I, that should I not have done that you know you're following if you were following your higher self and the guidance that your higher self was giving you and you did something you're being told you did nothing wrong so take away any have these these emotions of regret or worry or fear about that and ask Archangel Michael, he, he's there basically saying, I'm here to help you release these feelings um, from your mind, your body, from every, because this is also a negative energy that's going to pull you down. Also, they're saying that if there's anything that you've done in your past, in your life, things that you've done in the past, um, it's not going to hold, it's not weighing on you. You, you don't have karma that's coming to, to you beat you up. That isn't what karma is. Karma is what you put out is what you get back. So you put out good, you get good things back. You put out negative, you get negative energy back. But you're not being punished, and you won't be punished for something from your, from your past. As long as we're moving forward in a positive way, in a positive manner in our past, we're blessed for it. Also, uh, specific meanings about this, that the person that you're asking about is innocent, um, about, about what may be a, a, of a condition or, or a situation that you're wondering about. Also, it's speaking about detoxifying. Your energy, your, your, your aura, your, your mind, your, your uh, feelings and negative thoughts, um, detoxifying your body, um, like do a cleanse, get a lot of water in you, purify, um, go on a bit of a, a fast or a, a clean green eating to detoxify your body physically. Also, um, like I said, cut the alcohol and the drugs or, or, or cigarettes or whatever. That's a de detox. You need to detox and come down from that because it interferes with your higher self and what it is that spirit's bringing to you. They're also saying that you can trust the situation. So here we go again. This is um, this is that the person that we, we got that already that the person that you were and the situation before is, were, is is trustworthy. Well, this is also saying that again. So that's another confirmation. They're also saying that they would like you to focus on people's good qualities instead of their bad. So you we we can always choose to look at you know whatever we, we choose to look at. Everybody's got um, positive things and they've, and they've got that, I don't like to say negative, but you know, less than positive things. And whatever is working in a relationship, whatever, that, whatever you see about this person that is good, focus on that. That energy that you put towards them lifts everybody's vibration up. It also helps them. It doesn't help them for you to focus on their negative and it doesn't help you to focus on their negative. It, it pulls down everyone's energy. So they're asking you to, to focus on that. Um, also, the next card, um, I'm going through quite a few because they all came out, and I love this deck, and I'm just going to do it. So, The next one is, you're on the right path. So, they're basically saying that this is validation, that the, the direction that you were headed, uh-oh, oh, there you are. The direction that you were headed is, is the right way. You're, you're being given confirmation. Sorry, hair keeps blowing in my face. 
Um, I've been seeing 777 a lot. That means you're on the right path. You see the number 7. So they're confirming that you are. Um, they, my Ar Archangel Michael is saying that he knows that you've been listening to your guidance and you've been taking steps, and they, he applauds you for, for listening to it and trusting in your guidance faithfully. Um, even though you may not see what's up ahead, um, he wants you to know that you are being guided. Your dreams, your messages that, that you're paying attention to, you are being guided, and you can take the steps knowing that you're protected. And he wants to say, keep up the good work. He's also saying you're on the right path, so if you're going in a direction as far as your work or your life's path, um, it's a good time to start a new project, start a new business, um, make a positive lifestyle change. That's always, you know, always a good time for that. They're saying listen to your guidance, even if um, others don't agree with what you're getting. Um, it's your guidance that, that you need to listen to. So even me, when I give out, uh, when I do readings, I tell people, this is guidance that you're getting. Spirit's giving you guidance, but it has to resonate in your heart with yourself. You're the one that needs to make this decision because you're going to take the consequences for this in your life. So even when others don't understand it, if you, you feel it in your heart that this is the path that I'm supposed to be taking and this is what I'm going to do, you, they want you to stick to it. And they're saying that you are going to be um, rewarded for this. Also, they want to, you to know that um, Michael wants you to know that you, should, that you will be financially supported. So the path that you're on, if you're thinking about changing um, jobs, going to another job, you're thinking about um, whatever you're doing, it's a new move and it's, it might be a little nerve-wracking for you, you will be supported financially. He's saying it's not going to be something that's going to, you know, possibly you're not going to be incredibly wealthy to begin with or to, as you start upon this, but you're going to be taken care of, which is what, um, which is what we need to, to know. The next card, uh, where are you? There you are. Go forward fearlessly. So this is a card, again, that we're on the right path. Stay up going forward on your plans as long as you stay focused on what is coming from your heart um, and, and you're in line with your soul's path and your heart path. When the soul's path and your heart's path align, that's when alchemy happens. So right now, no matter what, what steps that you take, take the steps in the direction that follow your passion and, and you will be getting, this will be leading you towards your desired outcome. Also, Michael is asking you to help, ask him. Show me the next step. We need to ask. Sometimes we get frustrated or, or confused or worried or fear-based, and we sit there and worry, worry, worry. Oh, how can I figure this out? How do I figure this out? How, which way do I go? I don't know which way do I go. And you think you're asking, but you literally have to ask. Please help me. Show me the direction that I need to go. And then he will support you through these changes. He's also saying, I'm supporting you through the changes that you're making. Um, another... Um, Messages, this could be saying that it's time you're supported as you make a life change or it's possibly time to leave an unhealthy situation. It's a good time to start a new business or a new venture, you know, go forward fearlessly. Um, and also they want you to enter a relationship that you might be, you know, don't close your heart down. They're saying open your heart and it's, it's safe to go into this relationship with an open heart. And also the, la the last message for that would be that, that the choice that you're considering or the choice that you've been, you, you've been thinking about is the right choice for you. So now the last card, where is it down here? This is take your time making this decision. So you've asked about a decision that you've been, con there's been confusion or, or uh, indecision. Uh, things haven't been clear for you. So this is a sign, don't rush into anything right now. There's more information that's going to be revealed. Information comes um, at the appropriate time. The people aren't going to wait. I mean, no. The, you're not going to lose the opportunity. People will wait for you. There's no need to force anything. There's no need to rush anything. The opportunity is not going to go away. If you don't jump on it this second, it's there. They're telling you it's safe for you to take the time to really think about this and figure out what it is that is your best course of action. And the best course of action is to slow down and take your time. They're also saying... Don't sign any contracts just yet. I've been getting that a lot recently. So um, contracts could, 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 could literally speaking about contracts, like say you're going to start a new business or buy a new home or buy a car or whatever it is, signing contracts. They want you to wait, pay attention, be really, really clear before you sign. Don't sign just yet. Um, negotiate a better deal. I also feel that um, it's very clear to me that if, if there isn't an actual contract, this could be a symbolic contract. So you're going to be offered something, a situation, um, a relationship, um, a, a deal of some sort you're going to be offered. And they're saying, you know what, Let, let's do a little finagling here. Let's do a little compromising back and forth. What is it that, you know, you want this, I want this. So they're saying, don't rush into it. You don't have to. You don't need to settle for less than what you want. 
and for less than what is in your highest good and what is in, in line with your soul's path. So I, I'm seeing this as a relationship of, of, of some sort. It could be a personal relationship. It could be a business. It could be whatever. But you're going to be given an offer, and don't rush into it. Don't, don't feel that you need to settle ever. That's my big thing. Don't ever settle for less than what you want. You want the full-on real deal. You don't want scraps. You don't want good enough. You want the best. So they're saying take this time. Um, slow down, it says slow down the speed of a new relationship. Um, ask questions before saying yes. Um, investigate your, the options and the alternatives. So kind of like, you know, review your options. Um, and don't be pressured by other people because everybody else, everybody else has their own interests in heart. You have your interests in heart. So these are all of our messages today. I love them all. I love this deck. I literally am going to go out today and I'm going to buy it again because I can't not work with it. This is the deck if you guys want to look for a really, really super cool deck. Um, I'm going to show you with each of these messages, there's a prayer at the bottom. So let's go. The person that you're asking about is trustworthy. My prayer. Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. Pay attention to your dreams. I don't know if I'm out of order, but pay attention to your dreams. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep, Archangel Michael. I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, my guide, and my healer. Please allow me to understand this specific situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. This is what we need to do before we go to sleep at night in order to be connected and tuned in to our dreams. I have lucid dreams, and they're amazing. The detail of my dreams is unbelievable. Um, I've worked on this for a long time. I've been told for quite a long time, of course, because dream analysis was going to be something that I was going to be working with, but the importance of dreams and writing them down and, and paying attention, but also about setting yourself up before you go to sleep. So, um, again, remember, if you're not going to be able to remember your dreams and hold on to them if you have had something to drink, if you have had some other substance in your body that alters your mind. Mind-altering substances interfere with your higher self and with your connection to the divine. Okay, so that I won't go back over that. Take your time making this decision, the prayer. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach the situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. There's another message. Just allow things to unfold because maybe we don't have all of the information quite yet, so don't be hasty. Thank you for protecting me. You're on the right path. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make life changes, helpful life changes. Go forward fearlessly. I think I'm out of order, aren't I? Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And then innocence. Dear God and angels, See, we don't, we don't discount the creator. Michael is his worker. Michael works for the creator. So someone asked me the other day, and I, it's a good time to bring this up, you know, um, why don't you ever mention God? Why don't you talk about God? And I'm not, a, I'm not a religious person, and I don't press religion on other people. I know that there are ones who don't believe that there's a God. I believe in the creator, in his son. I believe in Archangel Michael. I believe in the angels. I know that the angels are his workers. So when I speak about the, uh, when I go to them, I, I'm giving all credit to the Creator, and that's who I, uh, who I, all of my, all of my love and 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 uh, gratitude and appreciation clearly go to the Creator. He created me. He created all of us. He created the archangels. So just that side point. No, I, we do not discount the Creator. But for ones who are not believing in God, I don't, I don't press it. And I'm a spiritual person. I believe in it. I just am not uh, involved in any religion anymore. So anyway, here's the prayer. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others, helping me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. So those are all, every, every one of these cards has a prayer at the bottom. And, and it gives you an, uh, a different way of um, also looking at what the message is just by, by, by the prayer that you ask. Um, 
It's very, very still here today and, and actually heavy. It's very, very warm. There's a little bit of cloud coverage. So it, the energy right now is very intense. I don't know if any of you guys have felt it. It's been very, very intense. I'm feeling like we're coming over the hump. I am. I wasn't sleeping for a very long time, and, and I am again. Um, and so this heaviness, it, it's going to be passing, but right now we're, we're working through things. And, and the heaviness, um, what I've been told about the energy, is it's a time, I, I think it's, I think it's Pluto that's going into retrograde. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Don't, don't quote me on which of the planets it is. But somebody's going into retrograde. And it's literally a time that we are going to have to, it causes us to slow down and, and to take things um, more to heart and figure out the path that we are going. Is this the way I'm meant to go? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Go inside, um, deal with inner things. This, this heavy energy today, that's what it feels like. It, it's, a, it's a kind of a lazy, kind of slow going in. So they're asking you to, to take the time. Um, we always have time. We're not running out of time. Even though we feel as human beings, spirit has no sense of time. So we're always on time, in time, not running out of time. Um, so those are the messages that I'm getting because of looking around and feeling the energy here today. And uh, I think that I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I very much have. I love working with Archangel Michael. I'm going to get a statue of him today. I've been looking for the perfect Archangel Michael statue. Um, I've been looking at Amazon, and, I'll, and I've been asking everybody, and... You know, they always show him uh, cutting off the head of the serpent, and, and I understand that he's the warrior, but I, 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 to me, he is peace and he is strength. I know that we call on him to shield and protect us because he is the one um, that takes care of that, but to me, he's just love, and, and, and I want to see him in, in his glory with his power. You know, I, I don't want to see violence with him. So I've narrowed it down to two. Um, I'm going to make my decision today because I speak to him often, all the time, and when I do, at this point, I look up on my windowsill and I have a picture of him um, that I got in Sedona. And I talk to him like that because I'm a very visual person. And uh, so it's not, you know, when people have statues uh, uh, like my Buddha and my Lakshmi, and I, I don't worship that. And we don't worship that or them. I'm, I'm speaking to them. I, I'm, 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 I'm literally a visual person. So it's easier for me to look at, like when I speak to the man I'm in love with, when he's not with me. I look at his picture and I talk to him because I connect with him that way. I'm visual. So that's what I'm doing with Archangel Michael today. And I would like to have a statue of him standing there so that when I speak to him, I literally see him as I see him. So I just thought I'd throw that in. So if you guys have any, uh, any ideas about where to find a Michael, a beautiful Archangel Michael, I feel he should be very fit because he's obviously a warrior. I feel that he should, I, I want him to have beautiful big wings because I see him with these incredibly beautiful wings that carry him anywhere he needs to go. Um, but I, want, I, I don't want him to look fierce. I don't want him to look like a, a, a young boy because often the ones I, they show, he's young and he's thin and he just, it doesn't resonate for me, you know. Um, I saw a beautiful statue of Archangel Gabriel or Gabriel and the wings were mass and gorgeous and the body was fit and, and, and it was a very peaceful angel. So a statue, and I, I'm wondering, should I just get that statue and call him Archangel Michael? Because that's what Archangel Michael looks like to me. So I'm asking you guys. I would be interested in having some feedback. You know, uh, you guys leave feedback sometimes, but I, I kind of like, I'm going to start asking you questions. And I would also like to, uh, to tell me, what would you like me to speak to you about? Are there any other videos that you'd like me to make um, and talk to you ab about subjects that you would like to have discussed? Um, I put that out there because I'd like to hear that from you guys. So other than that, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I see an airplane flying, a white airplane flying that makes me think of flying to spirit, um, especially since it's white, it's flying overhead, it's pretty cool. Um, so we're connecting. Um, and that's it. So if you'd like to follow me, I'm on Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Google+, I'm on YouTube where all these videos go. My website is www.thewhispersofangels.com. I've been doing a lot of readings. I've been doing a lot of dream analysis. I've been working online and I've been very, very busy. But as I said, I always make the time to um, for, for the ones who come to my, for my personal page. And, uh, of course, I'm running all my Facebook pages. Did I say that? Angels Whisper, Sherry Columbus, and Sherry Columbus, Angels Whisper. Those are my two Facebook pages. Um, basically, all you can do is look up Sherry Columbus on Google and you'll find all of them. So you can connect there. And, and I, I'm up constantly, uh, I keep them up um, daily, and I'm constantly putting fresh um, posts up and articles up uh, for encouragement. It's very, very important to me. This is my path, and I love it. I will always take care of that. So um, please do um, come subscribe. 
So you do YouTube, come join me on my Facebook pages. I'd love to have you. Um, I've got a lot of really connected friends that are sharing their um, amazing insights and connections that they also have with spirit. So there's a lot of wonderful things. And on my personal page, I've got a lot of musicians for friends, very talented, artistic friends. My girlfriend, um, Karen Knudsen, Miller Knudsen, sorry, I wish I brought it out with me. She sent me a, um, a, a draw. It, 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 I think it was an original watercolor that she did. It's of Sturgeon Bay where I lived and I just got it in the mail today and I love it so thank you Karen it's beautiful I took pictures and I posted it on my page so I've got a lot of artistic very connected people following their path and their passion which is why we're all supposed to be what we're doing here right is following our path this just happens to be mine so welcome to all my pages and you guys have a fantastic rest of the day I'm super excited to enjoy the rest of my day I'm stoked about this deck and innocence just keeps coming up so don't allow yourself to worry about the situation they're innocent. You're innocent. Right on. You have a fantastic day, and we will speak soon. See if I can figure out how to shut this off. I'm not very good at this. It's, uh, uh I can't see what it's doing. Blessings. Ah, it didn't go. Blessings, blessings, blessings. <laughs>